Good morning, my dear students. Today, in this video clip, I have to discuss about that is the acceleration and the velocity time graph. And uh, in previous video clip, already you know that is the graphical representation of the motion of the particle, but that is a xt graph, position time graph. But here, have to take that is the velocity time graph. Then already you know that is the acceleration. Let us uh, you take that uh, particle. Uh, it is move uh, with a certain velocity. Uh, uh, it is initial velocity, and then it is gone increases or decreases, whatever it may be. There is a change in the velocity. There will be the acceleration. How you define that is acceleration. The change in the velocity of the particle per unit time is called acceleration. Change in velocity of the particle per unit time is called acceleration. Now, here acceleration is also defined as the rate of change of velocity of the particle is called acceleration. Now, acceleration is equal to change in the velocity divided by time. Change in velocity. Divided by time. Now u is the initial velocity, p is the final velocity, t is the time. Change in the velocity divided by time is the acceleration. Now here you say there is a positive acceleration. What is the positive acceleration? If uh, p is greater than u, final velocity is greater than initial velocity. It means velocity is warm increases. The rate of increase in the velocity of the particle is called positive acceleration. The rate of increase in the velocity of the particle is called positive acceleration. If it is the velocity of the particle is decreases, kadime ekan dhavadra, velocity kadime ekan dhavadra, or again at the negative acceleration at the other than definition I would say the rate of decrease in the velocity of the particle is called negative acceleration. Okay. Now in the form of acceleration. Now see here, there are two uh, examples here. In this example, beginning uh, that uh, particle move with the initial velocity 1 meter per second, after 1 second it becomes 2 meter per second. Again once again it becomes 1 to 3 meter per second. After 1 second it becomes 4 meter per second. In each and every 1 second, it increases the velocity 1 meter per second. And then equal amount of energy to be Equal to this time, or equal amount increase at the But here we are going to do the same thing. This is the next mode. Now, this is 1 minute per second. After 1 second, 2 minute per second. After 1 second, 3 minute per second. And after 1 second, 1 minute per second. And this is also a uniform acceleration. But this is the next mode. Now, variable acceleration. If the particle of the velocity it changes uh, unequal amount in equal meters of time. One second here, one meter per second is there. I mean, one second, but one meter per second can be there. But one second here, but two meter per second is there. One is three is there. And the equal amount is now. But two will decrease again, one will increase again. Then that the acceleration is said to be a variable acceleration. Now we come to the point constant acceleration. <coughs> What is constant acceleration? Now, both are uniform here, but it is constant. But it is not a constant. It is not a constant acceleration. It is a constant acceleration a lot. It is not a constant acceleration. And then, the velocity of the particle changes in equal amount, in equal intervals of time along the straight line. It changes equal amount in equal intervals of time along the straight line. That is called, that is called, what do you say? That is the constant acceleration. Okay. Now, here, a variable acceleration and constant acceleration. Here, constant acceleration, if the velocity of the particle changes in equal amount, in equal intervals of time, Along the straight line, that is called constant acceleration. 
ಅದೇನಂತದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಎ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಯು ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಜಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೈಮ್ ಪಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಯು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎ ಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಫೈನಲ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಇದೇನದ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನಂತೇಳಿ ಫೈನಲ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಇದೇನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಫೈನಲ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕಲ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ the velocity of the particle changes that is along y axis time to draw along y axis whatever the resulting graph that graph is said to be velocity time graph now see here no here time and this is velocity time is one it is 0 2 4 6 8 now 4 it is 4 meter per second 4 meter per second 4 meter per second 4 in each every in every interval of time velocity is only 4 meter per second at each end every that is a second the velocity is 4 meter per second it means it uh, moving with a constant velocity it means uniform velocity there is no change in the velocity no change in the velocity there is no acceleration but you have to draw the vt graph now see here you draw time along x axis 2 4 6 8 like that velocity that is 1 2 3 4 after 2 second it is 4 meter per second after 4 second 4 meter per second after 6 second 4 meter per second after 8 second that is a 4 meter per second now this is said to be uniform velocity it is said to be uniform velocity he did the uniform velocity but ht graph follow ht graph by the velocity time graph by the ht graph draw maadi anta telkodalle id x ga hige ivaga enagutte nodi idu hige baruthu anta telkodidi hige idu rest idu but idu rest alla idu motion uniform motion with a uniform velocity idu ke idu enna irutha sa illa position thondidini illa velocity thondidini ee position thondidini illa velocity thondidini ide tara graph idra you don't say that is a particle is rest but here the particle is in the state of motion here particle is at rest is a position time graph it is a velocity time graph this is point now this is for uniform velocity now here acceleration is zero acceleration is equal to zero p here is uniform with the uniform with the it is equal to zero for constant acceleration now see here here the particle change the velocity 2 4 6 8 meter per second but with a different interval from 0 2 4 6 8 after 2 second at 2 second 2 meter per second at 4 second 4 meter per second at 6 second 6 meter per second at 8 second 8 meter per second now you draw the graph time along the x axis velocity along the y axis at 0 this is 0 at 2 this is a 2 meter per second at 4 at 4 this is a 4 meter per second initial velocity is 0 here in this velocity time now now at 6 this is a 6 meter per second Yes, it is a 4, 8, it is a 8 meter per second. Now, this is the constant acceleration. It is moving with a constant acceleration. If the velocity of changes in equal, in equal time, in equal, uh, in equal amount, in equal interval of time. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 second change at the time. 2 meter per second, 2 meter per second, 2 meter per second, change at the time. Now, this is for constant acceleration. Now other beauty graph you see observe this one. This is also for a for constant acceleration or constant acceleration and a positive acceleration. Constant acceleration or constant positive acceleration with a certain initial velocity. 
with a certain initial velocity. With certain initial velocity. This is huh? with certain initial velocity. In the in the you know, this is also for constant acceleration. Constant acceleration. Constant or positive acceleration. But initial velocity is zero here. But here initial velocity is not equal to zero. Now this is the ground. This bond increases. Velocity is bond increases. This is for constant negative acceleration. This is for constant negative acceleration. This is for variable velocity. This is for variable velocity. And this is for uniform acceleration. This is for uniform acceleration. So sorry, this is for very variable, variable acceleration. This is for variable acceleration. Here now very very important to the last such time graph or graph model to do. Now it is the graphical representation of motion of the particle by floating the ground. Different velocity of the particle along by axis, time along x axis. Thank you. Some other little bit of drawing the next class.